In this lesson, we're going to go over how to take image and sound files from your PC and install them in Android Studio. Ahead of doing this lesson, you should have already downloaded these files, uh, which are found on the Mobile CSP official course materials on the internet. And once you download each of these, you should have them all sitting there on some folder on your PC. In particular, we've got four image files here and two sound files that we're going to install in Android Studio. So let's get started. So from this uh, familiar Android Studio menu, we're going to start a brand new project and we're going to call this project MLK. And we'll leave this stuff alone for now. We'll start with an empty activity and we'll hit finish and it'll take a couple of minutes now for Android Studio to build a project for us. Once we get the indication that the project has been built by seeing this page, we're going to travel over to this resource folder and look under here and see that we've got a drawable folder for images and also a mipmap folder for holding icons for our app. Uh, so we're going to go over three different ways of installing assets onto Android Studio from your PC. Uh, one way is going to be by uh, moving them uh, into an Explorer window, which we will open up soon. Another way is going to be importing them directly through the Android Studio menus. And the third way is going to be with a cut and paste. So we'll go over all three of those. So let's start by showing you how to import a picture directly into the drawable folder. So if we were to uh, click, right click on drawable and say a show in Explorer, we see that we get an Explorer version of the drawable folder. Now if I open up this folder right here, you see there's nothing in it at the moment. I'm going to open up another Microsoft file explorer window here and I'm going to navigate over to the downloads folder where I have everything else stored and what I'm going to do simply is I'm going to just take these four uh, files here and simply transfer them directly into the uh, folder that is on Android Studio. Well, the other thing I want to do here is I want to get rid of all this uh, capitalization so I'm just going to just change the name of this file like that. Uh, I'm also allowed, one of the few special characters I'm allowed to use in Android Studio uh, is this uh, underscore. So I'll just leave it like that. And now that's the first way we have to store information inside Android Studio. Now if I go back to the Android Studio directory, you see there's a little triangle that shows up under drawable. And if I open it up there, you can see all the files have been transferred. The second way is I can uh, take a uh, MIP map uh, folder here and I can install uh, pictures under here uh, typically to be used as launcher icon and I just right click here and I say new uh, image asset and uh, right now I just have to decide what kind of thing I'm going to use this for I'll just put this in the launcher icons and if we work our way over to the directory where our picture is stored and we click on that you can see that this is uh, this five versions of this image are going to get created and it's going to replace the IC launcher. It's in red showing me the old IC launcher is going to get replaced. And now if I come over here and click on any one of these, you can see they're going to be different versions of this file. The third way we can import assets into Android Studio is with a cut and paste. And I'm going to show you that by importing a couple of sound files. Sound files belong in a directory called raw, which for some strange reason does not exist when you first create a new project. So we're going to go over here to the resource folder and we're going to say new Android resource directory and we're going to call it raw. And we're going to change the type of, of folder this is to a raw folder. And now the raw folder shows up right over here. Let's go back uh, on it, the Explorer window and um, go back to the PC where the downloads were and look at these two files, for example, the, the these two sound files. And we're going to cut and paste them into here. So I'm going to select these two. I'm going to say a cut or copy. Then I'm going to come over here to the raw file. And I'm going to say paste. And now you can see that those two files have been installed under the raw directory.